What's it like for you to, you know, I just sit here watching with a guy like Dan Girardi if you're out here for 20 minutes getting to learn from a guy who's played in the NHL for so long and, and you get a chance kind of you know, almost get a one-on-one -on -one session with him. What's that like for you? Uh, yeah, no, it's nice to, to have people here that help you out with your, your development. So um, he's obviously um, good with me out there, so um, it's nice to have him. What kind of routine have you developed here with just, I guess, I assume you're living in a hotel and you're doing school. Like, like what's it been like after practice? Are you you're still taking classes online and stuff? Or how's it uh, yeah, there's, luckily I don't got too much work, so um, just kind of come here and then if I got school, I'll do school. If not, I just kind of hang out the rest of the day. So um, it's, it's kind of nice just get in here, do, do your work, and then um, have the rest of the day. So you still, you still have homework? and. Tests and stuff. Have you gone through that still? Yeah, a little bit. I'm I'm just finishing up, so um, it's not too bad though. You guys have had such a even before you got here, such a run of games run together. You're going to have a lot of practice time now this week, next week. Time to do extra work like that. What can you take from the next two weeks here going into the summer, just getting all this practice time? In? Uh, yeah, I think just continue to kind of adjust to uh, um, playing pro hockey. So. Um, like you said, we'll have a lot of practice, so I'll be able to work on a lot of stuff that um, I think I need to work on, and um, I think it'll be good good for me to kind of get more um, kind of used to this, this style of, um, or this lifestyle, I guess. A lot of people ask about the speed of the game. You've had no problem, from what we've seen, adjusting the speed at all. What is the biggest adjustment for you then? Because you're right at the speed. Is it just the way the opponents, you know, the quickness they use to get the puck and get chances, or what's the biggest adjustment then? Um, I mean, I, I don't think like physical speed is that much different. I think everyone just thinks way more faster. So um, your brain's kind of kind of got to be working um, at all times. So I think that's kind of what's been the biggest difference. We're a week into this new chapter. You know, what have you learned about yourself? Obviously, play-wise, you're adjusting. But even personally, what have you learned in the past week? Um, yeah, I, I honestly don't really know. Um, I feel like it's not too much different than school. You still go to the rink. Um, practice and then um, I'm living on my own like I did at school so uh, I, I don't think it's it's too much different um, but who knows. How is it having the family a bit closer now? I know parents were back at the rink the other night you know what is it like being so close to them for this chapter? Uh, yeah it's really nice just for them to be able to come down um, as much as they do so um, it's a lot easier for them obviously than going all the way to Michigan so um, it's just nice to have family. Um, my girlfriend's been up quite a bit, so it's been nice just to um, be able to spend time with them. Four games so far with, with Henry as your partner. What's it been like working through? I mean, communication's a big part. How have you guys sort of adjusted game to game? Uh, yeah, I think um, he's done a really good job getting me comfortable and just uh, talking me through everything. So um, I think he's been great, great for me, and I think we're just going to continue to get better. What have you learned about Henry? Does he make you laugh sometimes? So he's He's kind of a funny guy. Yeah, he's he's pretty funny, but I think once you get on the ice, he's pretty serious. So, um, like I said, he's he's been real good to me, um, real good partner. You've been able to, you know, become a part of this team pretty quickly. How, like, when you showed up in Tampa and when you practiced in, in Toronto, like, what were your th thought processes about just becoming part of the group? And that's not easy to do for a guy right out of college when they've been here seventy plus games. Uh, yeah, I mean. Just kind of go in there and um, I, I don't, I honestly don't really know what I was thinking. Just go in there and kind of get some of the guys and just go, go have fun playing. So um, they've made it real easy on me to come in here and, and feel comfortable. So um, it's been nice. When you got your first point, I mean, they looked a lot more excited than you did. I mean, what was it like just seeing their, their reaction, whether it's somebody grabbing the puck for you or, I mean, guys who came off the bench, they came up and, and you know, congratulated you. Uh, yeah, it's it's nice to see guys um, excited for you. So um, it was obviously a special moment for me, but uh, to see that I'm so happy, um, like it was nice to see. What, re what was your reaction to getting the sword? Uh, I don't know. Just figure out what I'm gonna say. So um, <laughs> that's that's about it. I think. Well, Don says um, Henry and Dalene are like two big brothers over you. They were arguing about who gets to play with you before we get here. What's their kind of big brother personality so far? Do we have Angel Devil? What's the vibe going on with them? Uh, I, I think both of them are pretty similar. I mean, um, obviously Henry, I've been playing with him, so I probably talked to him a little bit more. But I think both of them, any any time they're doing they doing something, they kind of invite me to, to do it and just make sure I kind of feel um, a part of the group.
Kevin Adams said well, when you got to Tampa, you hadn't even been on the ice yet, you went to dinner with Zemgis and Oposo. What was that like to go to dinner with two veterans like that? And what, Did you ask a lot of questions, or what was it like to be with them? Uh, yeah, it was, it, it was nice to, to get out there and um, kind of get to know them. So um, obviously I was able to ask a lot of questions um, kind of about their careers and just um, everyday life in the NHL. So um, I think it was nice to have, have two older guys kind of um, take me out to dinner and kind of, like I said, make, make me feel uh, I'm part of the group. Thank you. Thanks, Owen. Thanks.